what is the topic name metric conversion metric conversion okay so what is the metric so if we have a milk we count in a meter or liter everything which is tangible like if you can if you are going to shop you will take 1 liter of milk right you take 1 liter of similarly you take 1 liter of 1 kilo of or 1 gram 1 gram of gold right similarly we will take 1 meter of cloth so these are the actually metrics you can't say that 1 meter of gold you can't say 1 meter of milk similarly you can't say 1 gram of cloth and 1 gram of milk 1 liter of gold and 1 liter of cloth that is also milk, right so for every conversion we have a different different metrics understood yes each of the metrics having so it each of the metrics we will calculate based on their material that is a different discussion but all these metrics having a same prefix and that we are going to discuss here that is called as i am writing from the bottom centi this means this is one of the smallest value then bigger than centi is called as uh, the smallest one is milli okay and then we will call centi then we will call next one that is dc so this is the smallest one this one greater than milli this is greater than dc and then we will call it unit like meter it can be anything meter it can be gram it can be liter i will discuss about it then write down deca hecto and then what is the use of this actually you will say 1 meter of cloth yeah 1 liter of milk okay so that will going to divide it into two part then what it it means okay if we have to take less amount of milk or less amount of cloth then what is the metric we are going to say because 1 meter means what that is 1 meter that is 100 cm 1 kilo means 1000 but how it is 1000 how we are going to calculate all these things we are going to do before discussing this i am i am also going to tell you that if this is a meter it doesn't mean in, in this table you got everything if this is a meter it means this is millimeter this is centimeter this is decimeter this is already meter then this will become a decameter this is will become a hectometer and this will become so this last term meter which is written in blue is depend upon what you are writing here if it is a gram instead of this meter if there is a gram here then all this will become a gram okay so this meter this meter this meter all this will become a gram so we call it a milligram centigram decigram decagram hectogram kilogram clear now sir write it down this table aviska you are present in the last class right why you need a recording you didn't understand just tell me i'm just asking you now as you can see this this is kilometer hecto deca uh, meter now this is the smallest value and this is the biggest value so if you are going to bigger bigger to a smaller then value will become a bigger and bigger and bigger right let me see, understand with example if you have a 100 rupees okay and if you go to the outside the country this value will decrease right if you go to the village the value will decrease increase so in village you can you can purchase many thing in just a 100 rupees but in metro city you can purchase less amount of less thing in 100 so depending upon the position depending upon the demographics the value will decrease or increase here as you can see this is kilo this is the highest value so if you are going to backward direction this value will increase value will increase how i will show you if i am going to ask you 1 km this is what 1 km and 1 km is equal to how many hectometer how many hectometer question is what 1 km equal to how many hectometer very simple rule if you go top top to bottom you have to multiply with simple if this is a one day one difference multiply with only 10 now tell me 1 into 10 is what 100 now if you don't understand let me explain you with one more not 100 only 10 now if this is a 4 km then if i am going to ask you how many hectometer what is the answer 4 into 10 that is 40 okay now look at this if i am going to ask you how many decameter then what is the answer find the difference i told you from 4 km to how many decameter the question is 4 km equal to how many decameter this is decameter so it means there is a one space 
look at this one and two you are going to one two position below the kilo actually this is the kilometer so i'm here i'm going to decameter so difference is one and two so we have to write down four and double zero why double zero means we are multiplying with hundred. whatever the difference is zero will going to increase like that so from this point to this point we have a two difference look at this we are at the first position here we have a three so third position so three minus one that is two so we have a two zero now 400 uh, 4 into 100 is what 400 so answer is what 400 now if i'm going to ask you 4 kilometer equal to how many meter can you tell me how many meters anybody 400 sir. 4 kilometer equal to how many no what is the difference from kilometer to meter we are here who is playing game yes. uh, sky got in the class yeah. you should tell me the answer whatever the an answer it is in your mind you can tell me i will explain it try to tell me the answer I told what I told you. We have to find the difference from here to here. What are the difference? You are at decimeter because I told you to find the decimeter. So you are at decimeter, and your value is at kilometer. Means you are here. So now found the difference. One, two, three, four. So simple. There is four and four zero. What are the difference? One, two, three, four. So four zero. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what about the others? So now, if I am going to ask you the next question. That says that the value is. Look at this. I'm writing here. The value is nine hectometer. Hectometer. And I ask you how many decimeter or how many uh, decimeter. Tell me what is the answer. How you are going to find the answer? What you have to find first. Count what we have to find. We have to find decimeter. And where you are? You are at hectometer. Now find the difference. One, two, three zeros. So there is there is a three zero. So already we have a nine and nine and three zero. If I'm going to ask you forty-five decameter equal to how many centimeter? Anybody can you tell me the answer? Forty-five decameter equal to how many centimeter? Forty-five hundred. Where where you are? You are means what? This is the position where you are. Okay, so you are at decameter, right? And where you have to reach out at centimeter. You have to go to the centimeter. Now find the difference. Two. One. If you are going to start, one, two, three. There is a three difference. You have to. Okay, we have. So what is the process to count the value? If you are going to start from here, one, two, three. Then you have to leave this. If you are starting from here, one, two, three. Then you have to leave this. Last one you are not going to count. Okay, always. One you have to always leave. If you are going to count the last one, then you can leave the first one. If you are going to Give the first one, then count count the last. Simple. You can't take all these values. Then you will be wrong. Whenever you are counting the difference, one value you will going to change. Suppose that this is the number. Okay. So how many one are there? If you are going to start from here, how many numbers are there? You will going to start from here one, two, three, four, five. And if I am telling you what is the difference from one to this one, means this position to this one. Then how how you are going to find the difference? Difference you will going to find from here. To here and then count one, two, three, four. Not you are going to count this value. And if you are going to leave this, then one, two, three, four. That is the only method. One number out of these two, you will have to leave. Only consider one. Now, what is so centi decimeter? There is a three zero. We are going to put after whatever the value at deca. So at deca we have a forty five, and there is a three difference. So answer is four five triple zero. Understood? Tell me the next question. Eighty five. Hectometer equal to how many? Eighty-five hectometer equal to how many decimeter? This is hecto and this is dc. So one, two, three, three digits. Eight, five, eighty-five. Very good. Now you understand. Tell me one more question, everyone. If the number is one, two, three deca gram, then how many deci gram? Tell me the answer quickly. How many deci gram? One, two, three. Double zero. You all are agree on double zero. Good. This is correct. Now you understand. Now I am going to give you two more questions. In the same question. If I am going to give you thirty three point six decameter equal to how many centimeter? The first question. The second question is zero point three four hectometer equal to how many decimeter? And the third one is. One decagram equal to how many decibel? Tell me. Every question. Sir. 
फर्स्ट आंसर इज फर्स्ट आंसर इज सिक्स सॉरी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री जीरो You said this one. Look at the difference. Where we are, we are at theta. And what we have to find, we have to find this. So difference is what one two. So you find it the difference very good. So the three zero is there. But when the number are in three point six, okay. If the number is like three point six four in decimal, so what you have to do, you don't have to put this directly number. You have to multiply with one thousand means. There is a three zero, and there is a one. You have put it, so it will be going to multiply with one thousand. Actually, we are multiplying. If this is a thirty six, and we are multiplying with one thousand, then answer is what? Three six triple zero. That is reason I told you to put down three zero. But in the case of decimal, you can't just just put the triple zero because it is not having any value after decimal. There is a no value of zero. Value six after three point six, you can put n number of zero because. This doesn't carry any value. What we have to do instead of putting double zero, you have to multiply with one thousand. So three point six will going to multiply with one. Understood? This is mathematical concept. Now, if there is a decimal here, so how we are going to multiply? I already told you. Write down three six and one thousand. So remove this decimal for multiplication. So the answer will be three six and triple zero, as you said. Now, because after Decimal, you have a one number because there is a decimal actually. So after decimal, how many number? One number. So here I am going to put decimal here because after decimal here we have a one number. So the actual answer is three six double zero point zero. And after decimal there is no value of zero. So you can write down the answer three six double zero. This is actually the concept of decimal. How we are going to multiply decimal? If there is a two point eight and we are multiplying with ten. Vacation topic. Okay. We have discussed in decimal in two-digit multiplication. So this is 28, and you are doing 10. Actually, this is decimal, but I am eliminating decimal for the calculation part. So this number is 28. 28 into 10 is 280. Now put the decimal value after the decimal. How many numbers? So there is a decimal, and after decimal there is only one number. So I am not putting decimal here because after decimal there is one only one number. So the answer is 20. Same thing we can do here. Again. Tell me about the second question. Your concept was correct, but you have to do the calculation, decimal number calculation. Sir, second question. And decimal multiplication. If you don't know, I told you. Now you can know. Very simple. Remove the decimal and do the calculation, and later you can put the decimal. Okay. If you don't know decimal, then leave it, and tell me the answer of thirty-four hectometer. Now tell me the answer. Now this is very easy. Tell me. Thirty-four thousand, uh, thirty-four thousand, sir. Same answer. Thirty-four thousand. We are at hecto, and we have to reach at deci. Difference is one, two, three. Put down three zero, and there is the answer. Last one decagram is deci gram. Tell me. One hundred, sir. Sir, same answer. So this is about a matrix conversion. Okay. Now, if you have to do from bottom to top. Like from here to here. Earlier, what we are doing, we are going from top to bottom. Now I am telling you from bottom to top. So instead of one decagram, I am going to ask you something. Now look at this. If you are going bottom to top, like one four milli meter equal to how many decimeter? But I ask earlier, we are asking from hecto to decad, hecto to meter, hecto to deci. Why? Because this is bottom to top to bottom. This is bottom to this is top to bottom. This is top and this is bottom. So we are going into the top to bottom. Now I am writing question in the bottom to top. So I ask you, we have a four millimeter and what is the decimeter? So we have to reach till here. What is the difference from my position to the new position? Because there is a two difference. Yes or no? Everybody, when you are going to bottom to top, look at this. This is the your position. Earlier your position was on top, and you are going into the bottom. Now here you can see that we are millimeter, we are at bottom, and we are going to top. So our value will decrease this time. Why? Because our value will this value is smaller value, and this is the bigger value. So when you are going to a smaller to bigger, your actual value will going to decrease. Now look how it will decrease. 
actually instead of multiplying with 100 if there is a two difference what you are actually doing you are doing 4 into 100 right so this will become 400 according to your concept now here you don't have to do the multiplication actually you have to divide so when you are going bottom to top you have to divide with the same number so like we have a four here and instead of multiplying with 100 i am doing division with 100 so number will be 4 by 100 understood 4 by 100 is the if you are going to write down in the decimal the number will be 0, 0.0 understood yes sir tell me the next example 10 centimeter equal to how many meter write down everyone tell me understood or not zero one sir zero one zero point zero sir zero point zero one why why because this is 10 centimeter but we have to divide because we are going to bought centimeter to meter we have to divide with what one and two two to 100 mm -hmm. zero will going to divide with zero so one by 10 is actually 0 0.1 not zero one the answer is zero point how we are finding quick addition simple if this is a one by ten so count the zero and put count the value who are in the top so we have a one and then put decimal and then zero this is actually division one divided by ten you divide and you will get this answer okay so the correct answer was zero point complete